When the RD6006 is connected to the power source, the power button will remind you in the form of a green blinking light. Click the power button to start the RD6006. You can see the boot logo, and then you can enter the main page. The RD6006 main page defaults to the galactical style, which displays more information than the previous power supply series. We can see that there are time display, button promote town statues, keypad lock statues, and the communication interface display. In the middle, we can see the actual output voltage, current, and power value, as well as the input voltage, output voltage, and the current preset value. Here, we can see the over voltage protection value and the over current protection value preset. At the bottom, we can see the data group number, constant voltage or constant current status, protection status, indication, and battery charging information. If you want to set the output current value, you need to press the I set to set it. You can turn the encoder potentiometer to directly adjust the output value. Press the left and right arrow button to change the cursor position. Of course, you can also use the keypad to enter the desired current value. Press Enter to confirm. When the current changes a lot, I recommend using the keypad to enter the value. If you enter a wrong value by mistake, you can cancel it directly by pressing the encoder potentiometer. You can use the same method to set the output voltage value. If you want to set the over voltage protection value, press the shift and the U set button to set. Press enter to confirm. You can use the same way to set the over current protection value. After power on, at the battery related information display area, external temperature, capacity, and energy will look display. When there is output current, capacity energy automatically accumulated and automatically cleared after shutdown. The green terminal is connected to the positive pole of the battery, and the black terminal is connected to the negative pole of the battery. After the battery is correctly connected, the battery charging indicator turns red and the battery is connected. Press on off to start charging. The battery charging indicator turns green. When the actual output current is lower than 10 mA, the output will be shut down automatically. Battery with protection board may not be charged. The charging voltage and current should be set on your own. Press memory button and number button to save the current setting data to the data group. Press enter to confirm or press encoder potentiometer to cancel. Press shift button and the number button. You can call out the setting data of the corresponding data group. Press enter to confirm or press encoder potentiometer to cancel.
you can lock or unlock keypad by pressing the shift and the lock button. If the keypad is locked, it is useless to press the keypad. Press shift and the lock button to unlock. You can press shift and the menu button to enter the system setting menu. And enter the step menu by pressing the enter button. Press the direction button to move the cursor to the option. And you can use encoder potentiometer to change the settings. Call OK option means if you need to confirm when you call out a data group. Call out option means if you want to output directly when you call out a data group. Power on option means if you want to output directly when you turn on the power button. Beeper option means if you want button tongue when you press the button. Logo option means if you need the boot logo. Language option, the system can be set in simplified Chinese or English. And the screen brightness can be set from level 0 to level 5. The communication interface can be sent to USB, Wi-Fi, and TTL. USB means the micro port, USB port of the front panel. Wi-Fi means the Wi-Fi mode connect to the communication mode interface. Use Wi-Fi to connect RD6006 and the mobile phone APP. You need to choose the Wi-Fi mode. TTL is not available now. If you change the communication interface, you need to restart RD6006 to apply change. When you choose USB as communication interface, you can change the baud rate. The device address can be set between 1 and 255. Here you can set the date and the time. The measure means the refresh rate of the voltage current power on the main page. Press the right direction to the next page. You can set the display style at this page. There are two display styles. Traditional style and curve style. Traditional style is the default style. It shows the voltage current power in large font. 2. Curve style You can see the voltage current power curve in one page. D is the scale of the alternate. Press enter to start or pause the curve. And use encoder potentiometer to achieve alternate scaling of the curve. Press the right direction to the data group setting page. Press enter button to enter the setting menu. Use direction button to move the cursor. The setting method is seen as on the main interface. Press the right direction button to the system information page. You can check the series number, firmware version, and the system temperature here. If the wrong setting causes the system to work abnormally, 
you can press and hold the zero button and power on RD6006 to restore the factory settings. Unzip the PC software zip file. Double click the written power supply to install it. The installation is finished. Use micro USB cable to connect the RD66 and the PC. Set the right parameter and click online to communicate. The keypad is locked when the communication starts. PC software has basic function, firmware upgrade, local upgrade, version update and language setting and about. You can set the output voltage at the basic function page. It will be applied immediately. Seeing as output current preset. Click open to turn on the output. The screen brightness can be set from level 0 to level 5. You can check the battery information and select data group to output. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out the chart. You can right click the chart and clean the curve or save screen shot to the local. Choose the place at which you want to save the screenshot. And you can see the curve here. Right click and choose Export Excel to save data file to local. You can click Firmware up to upgrade the firmware. Click Now to start. You can see the progress on the PC software and the RD66 screen. RD6006 will restart autom automatically to apply the changes. Click logo up to see the current boot logo. Choose a new picture as boot logo. Click logo import to import the image. You can see the progress bar at the PC software and the RD6006. You can see the boot logo has been changed. Click language to choose software display language. Click about to check the product information. If you have an Android phone, click APK file to install the APP. Allow the necessary permissions when the APP is installed. Call out the set bar and choose the language you want to use.
you need to set the communication interface to Wi-Fi and restart RD6006. Your phone and the RD6006 should be placed on the same network. Call out the setbar and click Network Distribution. Wait the RD66 to display mobile phone IP. Then click Next. You need to enter the Wi-Fi password before confirm. It will assure success on the app. Wait the RD 6006 enter the main page. Click connect above. You can select two of output voltage, output current, output power and input voltage to display the curve. Click on OFF to turn on or turn off the output of RD6006. Click USET and ISET to set the voltage. You can use the wheel to adjust and use the direction key to move the cursor. Click Set to confirm and exit setting. You can call out setbar to choose language. You can select the language you need to use. You can also click Share to export data to Excel. Thanks for watching.